Hello learners, I am Akash. I completed my BKTIC from NIT Raurkela in the year 2020. Currently, I am a mathematics teacher. Now, let's see how to solve this given question. Now, here I need to find out the integral of uh, 0 to pi x sin x by 1 plus cos square x dx. Now, how to do it? I am going to go slow because I know that many of you find this chapter a bit tough. So, please listen to me. So, first take the given integral as i. Okay, let i is equal to this and mark it as equation 1. This is the first step. Next, in definite integration, there is a property. What is that property means? Integral 0 to a f of x dx is nothing but integral 0 to a f of a minus x dx. In simple words, this property means that, see, in the same function, instead of x, you can also use a minus x, okay, with the same limits, okay. So, here my a is what pi, here integral 0 to a, here I have integral 0 to pi. So, in this same function, this is my function, instead of x, I can use a minus x. In basically, here I can use pi minus x. So, in the first step, wherever you see x, in that place, you can write pi minus x, okay. In the place of x, you can write pi minus x. So, see, in place of here, I wrote pi minus x. Here also sin x is there, I wrote sin of pi minus x. Here also, you see cos square x, basically cos of x whole square. So that's why in place of cos x I wrote cos of pi minus x whole square. Okay, I hope this step is clear. Fine. Now next, pi minus x, keep it as it is. Sin of pi minus x is sin x and cos of pi minus x is minus cos x. Okay. In, place, in case you are not familiar, you forgot the basic trigonometry. Sin of pi minus x is sin x and sin of pi, cos of pi minus x is minus cos x. Okay. That's what you see. So sin of pi minus x just came as sin x. Here this pi minus x is there as it is. Okay. And then in place of cos of pi minus x, I have minus cos x whole square. Next, this minus cos x whole square is going to be nothing but minus whole square is nothing but it becomes positive. So this will be nothing but cos square x. And and multiply the expand this bracket. Okay, pi sin x minus x sin x. This will become okay. Pi g into sin x minus x into sin x divided by one plus cos square x dx. This you mark it as equation two. Okay, all good. Let's go ahead. Now, what we need to do is we need to add the first and second equation. Add the first and second equation. Okay. Now, add both. See, in the LHS of 1, I have i. Here also, I have i. So, i plus i, I'll get in the RHS. Uh, I mean in the LHS. In the RHS, these two would come. This is the first integral plus this, this is my second. Okay. I hope you are clear up till now. Next. If you see, if you see, both the integrals have same limits. And both of them have same denominator. Okay, they both of them have the same denominator. So what I could do, I could just add the numerators because everything is same. Integral is same. The denominators are same. So in the next step, what I'd get is this i plus i is two i. Okay, and I can write both of them in under one single integral. Integral zero to pi. Uh, denominator will be one plus cos square x and x is sine x plus pi sine x minus x sine x. Okay, as I mentioned, just add the numerators. Now see. What I would get by doing this x sin x and minus x sin x they'll cancel each other and i plus i okay it's 2i next step I'll show you it's 2i so what I'm left out with pi sin x by 1 plus cos square x dx okay let's go ahead Chalo. now put the pi outside okay pi is a constant constant can be taken out taken outside of integration it is totally okay so this will be like this pi integral 0 to pi sin x by 1 plus cos square x dx okay now send this to here send this to here so it will be i will be nothing but pi by 2 integral 0 to pi sin x by 1 plus cos square x dx now now how to solve this question from here is i'm going to use substitution method which method substitution method how i'm going to do it is see here i have in the numerator i have sin x and into dx sin x into dx so basically i'm going to take cos x as t okay this cos x i'm going to take it as t if i take t is equal to cos x if i take t is equal to cos x what is derivative of cos x minus sin x so i'll get dt is equal to minus sin x into dx also i'll get dt is equal to minus sin x dx okay now now send this minus sign here so minus dt is equal to sin x into dx okay now see how i'm changing everything see sin x into dx okay sin x into dx this sin x into dx will be nothing but minus dt okay in place of cos x i'm going to put t okay so basically cos square x is there means t square i'll get here okay next what are the limits also will change one most important thing is limits will also change okay 
so x is going from 0 to pi so first when x is 0 what will be t so when x is 0 t will be cos 0 okay t is cos x that means t will be cos 0 which is nothing but 1 okay next when x is pi okay what is my upper limit pi when x is pi t will be cos pi which is nothing but minus 1 okay now my integral integral will change now you see my limits will change from 1 to minus 1 integral 1 to minus 1 uh, sin x dx will be minus dt minus dt by 1 plus t square that's what you will see in the next step okay i hope you understood this step in in case you have any difficulties ask in the comments box like i'll help you out there you can just watch this section again also i went slow i feel like i did a, i i went in a reasonable speed okay <coughs> i went at a reasonable speed now now okay uh, now there is one more property in definite integration which basically means that integral a to b f of x dx is nothing but minus integral b to a f of x dx now what does this mean is in simple words i'll tell like if you will if you will send this minus sign to the integral the limits will become the limits will get changed here it is 1 to minus 1 minus if it will go to integral it will become minus 1 to 1 that's how you can remember so instead of this minus which will send to it which will be sent to integral i have minus 1 to 1 whole type change dt by 1 plus t square now this is a very simple integration integral dt by 1 plus t square what is integral dx by 1 plus x square tan inverse x in place of x i have here t so this will be nothing but tan inverse t now one more thing the limits are minus 1 to 1 okay the limits are minus 1 to 1 okay actually how you should write it is like this uh, since it is like in MS Excel, in MS PowerPoint, it's coming like that. So, tan inverse t limits are like this. It will come minus one to one. It will look neat, but for now, like it's I'm showing it like like it came. I just you can just write it a little below and this one a little up. It will look good. Like the limits are. I mean, the, sir, you need to substitute minus one and one. So next, the next step what you should do is upper limit first. You should substitute upper limit is what one. So tan inverse of in place of t you should put first 1 next in place of t you should put minus 1 so first tan inverse of 1 minus of minus there will be a minus between the substitution minus of tan inverse the lower lower limit tan inverse minus tan inverse of 1 minus tan inverse of minus 1 okay now what is tan inverse 1 in case you forgot the inverse trigonometry it is pi by 4 okay and tan inverse minus 1 is minus pi by 4 pi by 4 minus of minus pi by 4 so pi by 4 plus pi by 4 i get minus into minus so pi by 4 plus pi by 4 is pi by 2 because 1 by 4 plus 1 by 4 is half so pi by 4 plus pi by 4 is pi by 2 so i will be nothing but pi by 2 into pi by 2 which is nothing but pi square by 4 okay so thank you very much for staying with me up till now i hope uh, i gave a decent explanation but still if you feel you have any doubts or you did not understand this step or this moment you you can you know in the comments box you can put like from this time to this time this step i did not understand like from 1 minute 20 seconds to 1 minute 40 seconds i could not understand this step how you went about like you can specifically mention it so that i can clearly answer your doubt okay i could help you out in the comments box fine and not just this question uh i mean other questions from integration also will be done in a short while okay uh, i'll see if i can make them as soon as possible and apart from that other topics such as circles i have covered and the theory of equations and quadratic expressions some some a question from probability as well and binomial theorem these all uh, playlists you can find it in the description so please do check them out okay and in case you like this video please hit the like button it will encourage me to make many more of such videos and if this is your first time com coming across to my channel please do subscribe to it Thank you.